Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new video here. I wanted to do a quick little guide on how to stream PS5 on your Steam Deck, because if you're a fool like me and decided one day that you wanted one of these, and then a day after it ships, remembered, oh yeah, I have a Steam Deck. Can I achieve the same thing with that? And it turns out you can. Not only can you, but it is a very good experience. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna go into desktop mode. Then you want to open the Discover Store. You want to go to search. Uh, if the keyboard does not pop up, you wanna hold the Steam button and press X. And you wanna type in Chiaki. Chiaki for, for deck. Just like that. There it is. So you want to install that right there at the top. And once that's installed, which I already have it installed, you're going to want to open it. I have it pinned down here. And there's my PS5 ready to go right there. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to add a new console to show you guys. I'm going to name it Test. And then hit Add. And there's my test console. So once you add your console, you want to open it up. And the two main things you're going to need is your PSN account ID and a remote play pin. And I'm going to show you guys how to get those right now. All right, so here I am on my PS5 now. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to your settings. Go down to system. Remote play. Make sure this is enabled and then link device and that is the eight digit pin the remote play pin you're going to need to enter within 300 seconds so that's the first thing you need now the next thing you need is your PSN account ID and for that what I did I wasn't even sure what it was if it was gonna be an email when I made the account but I just went to my profile up here there is my ID and that's what I entered and it worked. All right, I'm back on the Steam Deck now. You pretty much know what to do. Just enter those two things that we just went over and hit register there at the top right. All right, and if all went well, you should be able to enter your console now by clicking on it. And there you go. There's my PS5. I wanted to do some games that were exclusive to PS5 just to make it a little more interesting like Ghost of Tsushima even though that just got announced for PC recently. I have not played this game in three years. <laughs> so I 100%ed it though. When I did play it I believe uh, I just checked it was 67 hours. And the latency is actually really good. Like more than playable. After I tested this out I was like, wow, now I gotta go through the refund process of the PlayStation Portal because I do not need it, I do not want it. The only thing, of course, is you don't have the PlayStation button layout there. Uh, but I've been playing PlayStation since I was a kid and I know the button layout like the back of my hand. But yeah, the game looks great. Uh, it's set on 60 FPS, 1080p right now. And you could uh, tinker with that high quality mode. And you could tinker with that in the settings of Chiaki. But yeah, like I said, more than playable. You will need a solid Wi-Fi connection, of course. If you're going to like try and bust this out like, at like a three-star hotel or something, uh, it's probably not going to be as great of an experience. But uh, yeah, it's great if you got good Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, and you can do full screen, by the way. You can see all my icons down there at the bottom. But you can do full screen. And then to get out of full screen, to press the quote unquote PlayStation button to go home, you have to hold down Steam, the Steam button, and left D pad at the same time. A little tricky there, but I got it. And then you can go home, and there you are. And that's how you can get out of full screen uh, if you choose to do full screen. All right, I'm going to end it right there. I hope this helped you guys out. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. Until next time, peace.